Ta-da! Hello gamers, Matthew here from Grey Army Gaming. For today's episode of Renovations, we will be turning this into this. Alright gamers, if you're anything like me, you'll recognize this situation. You want to run over to a friend's house or to the local game store and play a quick game, a Mordheim or a skirmish battle or even a larger game. And the problem is, you waste so much time packing and unpacking your figurines. The way I've done it for so many years is to take sort of a, a cardboard box, grab your figurines and uh, get some of this good old bubble wrap and try to just, you know, somehow wrap them up in a nice way, throw them in the box so they don't get destroyed on the way over to the game store. When you get there, usually there are pieces that have fallen off, so you got to take your super glue and uh, fix everything that broke. Uh, you spend a ton of time wrapping these things up, putting them in your box and unwrapping when you get to the game store, your friend's house, that you hardly have any time to really get started to playing your games. And and you know, this can be quite a pain. Now I started to think that there must be an easy solution to this problem. I mean, of course, one thing you can do is buy one of these really expensive cases to transport and house your minis, uh, but that'll run you quite a few dollars. Now the other day I was over at my local secondhand store, which I absolutely love, and I came across this fascinating case right here. Now I'm not sure of the exact function of this case, uh, but when I bought it and looked in it, there were of course some poker chips. So it made me think that it was used to be a, a poker chip box. Perhaps there was a few trays in here. Um, so the first thing I did was to dump out those poker chips and to check out this case and say, wow, this is a pretty solid case. Picked it up for about a dollar. Now, of course, you don't want to just house your minis uh, in this case because, of course, they're going to rattle around and move around. So the next step I did was I went down to my local market in, the, in downtown Lund here and I was able to find some of those really cheap seat cushions that you put on wooden chairs. Once I took off the floral cloth from the outside, uh, what it revealed was some excellent foam that was in the middle. Now, this is really important. This foam is super squishy and super absorbent, which is going to be really important for our figurine case. Now, these, I think I bought three or four of them for um, less than a dollar a piece. So we're talking really budget here. You can see some good quality foam. Now it's important that we have lots of foam because this is a pretty deep box right here. So we're going to need to double the foam up here and on top the lid is a little bit uh, more shallow so we can put one layer of foam there. So what I did then was I just went back and I measured this little box out and I started to cut foam out. I didn't have enough full pieces to fit all of, all of here so I had to have a couple um, half pieces um, and I just started to fill up the box with the foam. One layer on the top and two layers here on the bottom. Alright, there's our one layer on the bottom. Doesn't really matter that there's a couple pieces here because we're going to take our next piece uh, and just stick it right here on top. So you notice that what we did here was the foam almost goes to the complete top of the bottom layer there. So there's not really much room left over. And then of course we went over here and we put our last piece in the top of this container, like so, and push it all together so all the lines and all the gaps are together. And there you go, just like that we've got our case with a uh, one layer on the top and two layers of foam on the bottom. Now I really did think seriously about taking this uh, layer on the top here and actually cutting out little squares for the figurines to fit into. I thought that might be a good idea um, to give them even more protection, but the more I thought about it, the, the more I realized that, well, one, it's going to be tough to cut into this foam uh, in, a, in a good way without ruining it, but also it's very often I have different size figurines, um, so I may make a certain number of holes and then, well, the figurines don't fit those holes or I make bigger holes and then, well, I don't have as many holes. So I thought what I would do instead is use the absorbency of this foam and just leave it as it is and fill the figurines across the foam in, in, in any pattern I want, fill up as many as I possibly can and then just try to shut the lid and see if they are held in place.
So there you see I've laid the figurines down with their bases touching and sticking up um, and I've put quite a few figurines in here so there's still some more room you could have though I, I've spaced them out rather nicely. So all we need to do now that we've got this is to go ahead and shut this whole thing up with, um, and the pressure will come on the bases and hopefully keep everything in place. And here now is the test. Let's close it up, shut this thing here, put the clasp on, pick it up, um, flip it around a few times, um, shake it up. <laughs> I mean, you can imagine that when you're traveling around, you're going to be doing a lot of different movements. Um, probably nothing like this, but um, good solid case there. All right, and let's bring this back down. I'll flip her open and see how it looks. So there you go, you see how the figurines haven't moved at all and the reason for that is, like I said, because we've got this absorbent foam and super absorbent foam underneath. It's basically we're making a little sandwich with the figurines and pushing down on their bases here which just holds them nicely in place. The foam doesn't put too much pressure on so I don't think we have to worry about any breakage issues. Well, there you have it folks, a renovation tip for how to make a great protective carrying case for your war bands. Um, that's something that is really functional, they're going to be really strong, and the best thing of all in my case, something that costs only about $2. Well, thank you for joining us today for this episode of Renovations here at Grey Army Gaming, where Grey can always play.